coming up on the transition to auto sequence start and the first umbilical tower separation. Twenty five seconds. The third stage ground power umbilical is separated. Standing by for the issuance of launch command. And we have engine start. Ten seconds to launch. We have liftoff. Liftoff of the Soyuz. TMA 17M on its way to catch up with the International Space Station five hours, 43 minutes from now. Early reports of good first stage performance. Soyuz is delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from the four boosters and the single engine. The first stage of the Soyuz measures 68 feet in length, 24 feet in diameter. It's burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes, six seconds of the flight. Already traveling 1,100 miles per hour and transitioning through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle. One minute, 35 seconds. All continue to go smoothly. Everything is fine on board. Do low direct greeting. Standing by for escape tower jettison. The four strap-on boosters have been jettisoned. Those have completed their job. They've dropped away from the vehicle at an altitude of 28 statute miles. The vehicle is now traveling 3,350 miles per hour. Standing by for launch shroud jettison. These thrusters are, fun are functioning. Uh, they are stable and 150 seconds into the flight. Copy. 150 uh, seconds into the uh, flight. No fairing. Jettison. Copy. Shroud jettison confirmed the vehicles now uh, traveling 4,500 miles per hour, approaching three minutes into the flight. We are sending command number 12. Copy command number 12. We are receiving the image. Copy. All guidance systems are nominal at this point. The core stage of the Soyuz is a 56 feet uh, tall uh, spacecraft, 13 and a half feet in diameter. The single engine with four fuel chambers providing between 178 and 222,000 pounds of thrust for the three minute, 28 seconds uh, time of operation. This stage will burn until the 4 minute 43 second point, so about one more minute. At that point, the Soyuz uses what's called a hot stage uh, transition, which the third stage will actually ignite while the second stage is still burning. Chell Lindgren on his first voyage into space. Four minutes into the flight. Two hundred and fifty seconds into the flight. 
repellent and everything is nominal uh, copy, everything is fine on board. Four minutes, 30 seconds, standing by for burnout of the core booster, which will separate at an altitude of 105 miles. That's about 170 kil kilometers. Into the flight, uh, second stage separation, uh, these thrusters operated not... Second stage separation has been confirmed. The Soyuz is now being propelled by the single engine of the third stage, an engine providing 67,000 pounds of thrust, which will burn for the next four minutes of the mission. All, all guidance systems still working perfectly. The Russian Mission Control Center at the uh, Korolyov site outside Moscow, the home of the uh, Russian Mission Control Center for the International Space Station and for on-orbit operations of the Soyuz spacecraft. 350 seconds into the flight, everything is fine. Six minutes into the mission, two minutes, 45 seconds remain in powered flight. Three crew members on their way to a rendezvous and docking with the International Space Station later tonight. Soyuz Commander Oleg Kononenko and Kimiya Yui from the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency out of view, Chell Lindgren, U.S. astronaut. Traveling more than 10,000 miles per hour now, approaching seven minutes into the flight. Launch occurred on time at 4.02 this afternoon Central Time, 5.02 Eastern Daylight Time, 3.02 a.m. Thursday morning at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Seven minutes, 30 seconds into the flight, the Soyuz is now traveling 13,500 miles per hour. And all reports are continuing uh, that the vehicle is operating as expected. Once the third stage delivers the Soyuz to orbit and the module is separated, there's a series of pre-programmed commands that will be executed to prepare the Soyuz for orbital operations. These uh, stored commands are called time-tagged commands and they allow many of the Soyuz's systems that to be uh, automatically activated by onboard computers at precise times that are stored inside those computer software. Eight minutes, 15 seconds into the flight, 30 seconds remaining in powered flight. All the control systems are functioning nominally. Eight minutes, 30 seconds. We're standing by for third stage cutoff and separation of the third stage from the Soyuz spacecraft. And that uh, confirms it. The third stage is uh, shut down. Welcome to space to Oleg Kononenko, Kimi Ayui, and Chell Lindgren. A very smooth ride to orbit following launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Page 33. 
third stage actually performs a uh, slight avoidance maneuver to uh, which occurs by opening a valve in its liquid oxygen tank. Go the separation went well. Everything is fine. Those time tag tagged commands are already uh, uh, doing their job. The solar rays on the spacecraft have been deployed. Info one and two are closed. Antares RDR. For uh, dynamic operations enabled is uh, 00, 0 14, 30. Copy. Antares Moscow. You will have to send the command uh, the inhibit of uh, RTR of dynamic operations control. Unintelligible. And just to correct, one one of the uh, solar panels has been deployed. They're issuing commands for the deployment of the second uh, solar array on the Soyuz spacecraft. Setting. Copy. So uh, the one is set. Copy. Antares Moscow, please now perform the operations with TV. Therefore, command, yes, copy. Uh, please continue working. Antares Moscow, we are ready to copy your first measurement. Inaudible. The SR pressure is 790 in SR and 811 in BO at the time 0013. Inaudible. Parameter 17 is 17.5, 264. The next parameter, 1 and 9, 22, 32, 5, 23, 30, 31, 1, 24, 17.1, 25, 17.2, 26, 256, and the next one is 880. It's the uh, parameters list. Okay, copy. I am deactivating the repress, sending the command. The repress is deactivated. Okay, copy. Okay, we have a accelerometer selected. Okay, copy. The second set is selected. Okay, copy. Now a little more than 13 minutes into the flight. Uh, uh, recapping the launch occurred on time at 4.02 this afternoon central, 5.02 p.m. Eastern.